Hi, I'm John Earhart, the Engineering Manager at Compliance Testing, and I wanted to take a few minutes today to discuss things that can be done to minimize the downtime during your FCC certification process. Having appropriate firmware and software installed in the equipment with accessories, laptops, and any other equipment required for certification will help expedite the certification process. A very common problem with software is that we see software that is incompatible with the devices that we're attempting to test or software that is not compatible with the ancillary equipment like laptops. By having a system completely tested, ensuring communication prior to being sent in for certification um, will reduce this downtime. When we are preparing for certification, you need to ensure that you provide us with both radiated and conducted RF samples. There are a series of tests that require testing in each of these configurations. Additionally, when you have products that require uh, SAR testing, having specific SAR samples, which are also pre-tested before sending them in for certification, we will then have reduced amount of downtime because we can simultaneously test SAR while the RF testing is underway. Another element that creates delays in the certification process is the lack of paperwork required for certification. The FCC requires that certain documents, things like user's manuals, schematics, block diagrams, theory of operation, along with other documents, have to be provided for this process. Very often we see these documents after the testing has been completed and oftentimes they are inaccurate with not having the appropriate descriptions, not on the right type of letterhead and similar types of problems which then create these delays during the TCB process. By providing us with this documentation as early as possible we can begin the administrative review portion of the certification so that by the time the testing and appropriate test reports are completed the documentation required is also available. Preliminary testing of your product prior to sending it to compliance testing for certification will reduce the possibility of equipment failure delaying your project. If you should run into equipment failure during the certification process, compliance testing has a department where we can provide assistance in consulting uh, to help alleviate these issues and bring your product back into compliance.